Hi everyone. In this demo, we'll be reviewing how you can use Okta and CrowdStrike to respond to Mimikatz alerts in D3. What we're looking at right now is the original event. You can see that it's been tagged from CrowdStrike as a credential access alert. Here in the overview, we can see key details from the raw data that have been extracted and mapped to D3 system fields on the left-hand side. This include the user involved, the host, uh, the processes, and the file hashes. The raw data is always available as well here. We can see the different processes that have ran, that a uh, CrowdStrike has tagged it as an apparent Mimikatz process, and we can see other information such as whether or not this was blocked. On ingestion, all events go through an event playbook. Here, the event playbook for Mimikatz uses Okta to verify whether or not the user is an administrator. This will help us set the severity of the alert. If it is found that the user involved does have administrative access, then we increase the severity to high because that means that the attacker can likely execute the full suite of Mimikatz capabilities. Here, we dynamically input the user involved in the alert, and in the raw data, we can see back the different groups that they're involved in. Here, we can see the administrative group. A second alert has come in, but for this user, it's their test at d3security.com, uh, and the conditional task here is evaluated to false, tagging the alert as low severity. Either way, these events will be escalated into incidents. Here in the investigation dashboard, we can see both of them here. In the high severity alert, we can come down to see additional information from CrowdStrike. This information was run and populated by the playbook. In the playbook, we can always look into the tasks themselves. For example, get process detail here we query CrowdStrike for additional information on this process. We pull it back and we populate it into the incident form here. We do the same with the host and IOCs. This helps us understand whether or not the attacker was successful. Back to the playbook, we can see that at the end in the remediation stage, we're parsing through the raw data from the alert to see if the if CrowdStrike had successfully blocked the process or not. In this case, it had, and so we send an email to the user that their account has been compromised, and we reset their password in Okta. If for any reason we find that a process has not been blocked, we can isolate the machine, deactivate the user, and then initiate a password reset for all users in our identity database. Thanks for listening to our demo on how you can use D3 to respond to Mimikatz alerts with CrowdStrike and Okta.